everyone welcome back to final a new video metal scrapper channel today we will continue building the shed uh, the concrete base is already lying for three months and i feel a little bit ashamed i was waiting for some doors i ordered i got two doors one will be over there the other one will be over here but there are some delays because the doors are uh, yeah manufactured in Ukraine and you all know there's a war going on there so a little bit of delay and a little bit more of delay but let's build a shed right now we're going to build the front wall today and hopefully that will be successful and we can continue tomorrow with the back wall so yeah sit back and enjoy the video So it is taking a little bit longer than expected but this is the first wall we're going to make so yeah it's not too bad what we're doing. We measured everything out where every standing pole on the wall will come but you'll see what I mean with that some later on. This will be the upper side of the front wall so we got it completely measured out and now we're going to make the underside of the wall but I will do it off camera because only measuring whenever we are ready to get some um, work done on the walls with screwing the wood yeah screwing the wood sounds very good but all right <laughs> i'll uh, leave it uh, at this and you will see whenever we are ready to uh, make some further progress in the wall so we had to measure it out for the second time uh, as always uh, for starters measuring something out does not fit so we're ready now to place those uh, pre sawed yeah, wooden uh, poles. And we have a visitor. I really uh, have to take care not to uh, get too close to this little uh, fellow because his parents are protecting him. It's a seagull living uh, really uh, close to the sea. And this little one just fell off the roof, I think, because yeah, normally they uh, will not be living on the ground. But we just uh, threw a, a couple of pieces of bread and now I'll be uh, off to work. It's already evening, it was a uh, long day of hard work. We got some starting up difficulties with measuring out correctly, but nevertheless, we got a front wall. Looking uh, pretty good, pretty happy with our uh, result. Tomorrow we'll lift it up and place it against the fence so we can build the backside wall that will be uh, a little bit higher. Uh, yeah, it's uh, fairly the same concept, so I think we will be a lot quicker with that. And then later on we will do the side walls and then it's time to put up the whole frame. But that's uh, for later, another day. We call it a day, so see you back tomorrow. So a small update here. It's uh, day two, building the walls of the shed. The second wall, there will be the back wall. It's, uh, I think, two feet taller than the uh, other wall. It's pretty high already, so. Uh, but we did it, not manage to get it uh, done today because there's a thunderstorm coming. We had, uh, I think, a week or five or six already uh, no rain. And the last days were just very, very hot. Also with working uh, on this place in the sun was killing, but we're getting there. I think this will be ready tomorrow. And then uh, we're off building the side walls. And I hope end of the week we can uh, stand it up and place the, the roof. Yeah, it's uh, 
getting along nicely. So uh, I'll uh, make a short video clip of finishing this wall tomorrow, so you can see that. And then uh, off to the second part is the side walls. So this is uh, day three and I was expected uh, to film the, the last bits of making of the uh, back wall. And I had it recording but I think I pressed a uh, button on the outside of my camera and it stopped filming. So when I returned to retrieve my camera from the tripod there was nothing filmed. So I'm sorry for that. Um, did not film the final construction of the uh, back wall. But we're going to make a side wall right now. So we're measuring uh, everything out again and then we're going to make a side wall. Right, so um, I think I'm off to the hardware store. I got a drawing of the shed, some building plans, but I uh, did not uh, totally stick to the building plans. I made the, the front and the back wall um, at a different height than the building plans is stating. So the side wall that will uh, stick with the back wall is right in front of us and that will be st yeah, stuck with the front wall. So I had to take an account to take uh, the same height as the front and back wall. And I can show it in the drawing. I had some, oh well, there's difficulties getting a focus, but I have the roof sticking out a little bit at the front and the back of the shed. And I changed the plan. I don't want to have that. So I want to have the roof flush here and flush over here. And I need to calculate the angle each pole has to be, but also, to have the correct length because I cannot uh, get it from the drawing any anymore because I don't want to have the uh, overhanging on my roof. I need to have this one at exactly 90 degrees and this one too so I know the total length the upper side of the side wall and then it's time to get those angles shaping up so this one will be flush on the upper side of the side wall but to have the exactly 90 degrees I am yeah I got a small iron angle but it's pretty small so I'm going to the hardware store and buy a large angle professional one so I can uh, have that as accurate as possible Alright, so I said I would uh, go to the hardware store and buy some uh, yeah, larger angle to have 90 degrees angles, but I was uh, thinking a little bit. How do I know exactly when it's 90 degrees, this part? I know this, this side here is 300 centimeters. That side over there is 240 centimeters. So to make a triangle, I started at 240 centimeters across that corner over there. So I got a triangle with a 90 degree angle. So I calculated, I, I knew that side was 60 centimeters and this side was 300 centimeters because that's the length of my wall. And with a bit of calculation, I knew the angle. I had to cut every uh, pole that will go in the frame. Or every beam, it's a beam, it's not a pole, a pole is round I guess. But every beam, I knew the angle uh, on which to cut that. And I knew the length of this one. And when I know the length of the upper side part of my side wall, and those are flush, I even cut them flush. As you can see, those are pretty flush. I measured that out. I have measured 300 centimeters here, and from that corner to the mark over here. That's the 240 centimeter mark on this side. And when the boat top sides are flush, I know those angles are 90 degrees. So we made the frame. We're now off making the beams that go in between, just like a wall like this. 
with the right angle and the right length and then we're uh, pretty much done with making a side wall. So it's uh, going pretty awesome right now. We had some starting up difficulties because it's another wall, just like we had with the uh, first wall. We had to make a plan how to build it. Operations are uh, running smoothly again now. And we're going uh, to make the uh, side yeah, beams. All right, this is day four of the construction of the walls of the shed. Just released the chickens. Donald is uh, very happy again to be outside, of course. And the ladies too. Some fresh food, clean water. And yesterday I uh, finished the side wall. I'm going to make another one today. I think this will be in, uh, done in the morning. So in the afternoon we'll uh, stand this thing up and make it uh, rectangular. And then we'll attach it to the ground. And then it's time to uh, do the next phase that's closing the walls. But it's for later on, tomorrow possibly. So yeah, let's get back to work. So this went very smoothly, uh, it took about 1 hour and 45 minutes to have the frame ready. We'll now uh, be measuring out the in-between beams and then uh, yeah, we're going to place them. So currently I'm standing inside my shed. We uh, place it with the whole family, uh, except with two kids. But I measured di uh, diagonal from this corner 
to that corner and from that corner over to that corner didn't add up because this wall uh, seems to be uh, not totally uh, on a water line but all the other corners are and I made a measuring from this side to that side same goes for here from this side to that side was exactly the same length I also did it in the width so from that side to that side and from that side over to this side also the same length so the base on the ground is exactly square so I hope when I'm going to board it up the, uh, the walls that it will straighten out in this corner because yeah like I said that's not totally a water line um, I'm going to attach it to the concrete slab with a drill and some heavy duty uh, anchors but I will uh, too bad I will do that off camera the most part of that because my battery was also almost empty and so, so uh, yeah these are some long days which uh, ask a lot of my camera so yeah, let's start. Right, first one uh, has been uh, put in. I will do the rest off camera and show the end result. In so the complete shed walls have been attached to the concrete slab right now. It's already getting pretty sturdy, but you can see uh, it's still a little bit wobbly. Tomorrow I will get on the, the beams on the roof. Yeah, when that's finished, we will wall it up from the outside and then it will be very rigid. The roof will be walled up, or how do you say that? Roofed up with the uh, big pieces of wood. And that is it uh, for today. I'll see you back tomorrow when I'm going to place the beams for the roof. All right, guys, we're going to attach the beams to the roof. First one will be uh, the most difficult. We have to uh, get it on an exact angle. You can see we have an angle. So if I have a beam flat here, it will uh, stick a little bit out here. So we have to replicate this angle here same goes for the other side the length is uh, the same for every uh, beam so when once we got a good angle we can uh, draw them out on every beam cut them out and going to place them I hope this will be a quick job so I will first uh, measure out the first beam one of the fun things of uh, building uh, on a big project is buying new materials I really like that got a, uh, a saw this will help me cutting the wall boards in the good length and I think this can also be useful for cutting the rooftop beams in the right angle. So let's see what we have here. A little unboxing. Here it is. Yeah, I think well, this will do the job. All right, so we, uh, we need to measure out a corner. I'm not measuring it exactly uh, by the degree, but I have this square angle next to the beam here. So I measured out that the roof beam will be flush with the backside of my shed. That's the left line. The right line was a little bit too wide because I don't want to uh, cut a whole lot of the beam away. It's not necessary. And for this angle, I measured out this overlap here. That's two centimeters. You can see it's, uh, the top side is 30 and the bottom side is 28. So I measured out at the other side because it has to come down two centimeters. It's uh, almost one inch. And then horizontally to the end of the beam. So we're going to cut this and cut out this angle here. Then see if it fits, and if it fits, we'll do the same at the other side. So it will be flush on the beam, flush here, and we can screw it on uh, the wooden uh, structure. Okay guys, small update. Made a uh, pretty uh, awesome angle here. So it's flat on uh, this beam over here, but it's uh, missing that uh, one and a half centimeter or half an inch over there. Well, it's not missing, it's too much. So this, the second beam, that's uh, sitting on my side wall. It's one and a half centimeter higher in that end. 
and yeah, I think the same height over there. So what I'm going to do, just going to lay the beams on top of this without getting any corner out and fix them with a piece of uh, 90 degrees uh, yeah, corners, steel corners and attach them to the, from this to that side. That will do the job. So when that is done, I will show the end result. <laughs> One detail I was uh, noting in time, when I go to the other side, I just removed uh, the uh, beam that was uh, made to, uh, to fit in uh, these beams. But the first beam cannot lie flat because it's not on the same angle over here. This is straight. So I have cut out an angle over there. So all we'll do is make them all exactly like this one over here with these corners cut out. Got one. This is the old beam I just removed has exactly the same end here. So I'm drawing that on the new beams. So it will lay flush and have a uh, flush side with the outer wall. So that's what I'm going to do now, 10 times in a row. I have 10 beams, only have to cut them on the other side at the right length with the uh, right angle. So they will also be flush on the back wall. It's a little bit sunny today, but just like that one over there. So that's what I'm going to do now. Alright everyone, did not film it, uh, but we got all the beams of the roof on the shed. This side is not attached yet. I uh, used some, uh, like I said before, some iron corners. Over there they are, but I um, was mistaken that the large corners are a little bit too large for that side. Because we had to cut a little bit away, so they're sticking out a little bit. But it's Saturday right now, I got five days of working at the shed. Yesterday I did nothing, it was a resting day. Um, Monday I will uh, continue uh, the build, I will attach the corners and grind away the excess so the roof panels can uh, lay flat on the beams. And that's for the next video, I will attach all the plates to the side walls and the roof. And I think I will also film uh, the roof uh, finishing and I might be also filming the walls outside finishing. And the remainder will be making the isolation on the inside, boarding it up on the inside, electricity work on the inside. And maybe if I have the, the funds, making the working bench and a big yeah, place to uh, keep my stuff. But for now this will uh, conclude the video of today. Hope you all like this video. If so, give this a video a thumbs up, leave a comment, do not forget to subscribe. I will be uh, back in action uh, pretty soon and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.